let's make this beautiful round shawl. Uh, it's a beginner friendly pattern, it's not difficult to make at all, but it's also beautiful to wear during the cold spring evenings that are coming up. It's made with double crochets and front and back post uh, double crochets. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any ideas or requests for another tutorial, please let me know in the comments down below. If you aren't subscribed yet and you like my videos and you want to see more of them, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So grab your hook and yarn and hook up with me. I use for this project five balls of this bulky yarn. It is a wool mix and I use the uh, eight millimeter crochet hook. So you can use any yarn you like, just grab the hook size recommended on the yarn label. Choose the yarn you like and then pick the hook size that's recommended on the yarn label. The shawl is about 50 inches wide and 24 inches in height. So let's make a shawl. To start we make a magic ring, so place your yarn on your hand, wrap it around your fingers and then slide your hook under the first, grab the second, pull up a loop, yarn over and chain one. You now have your magic ring and a chain one, so we chain two more, one, two, and now we have a chain three, this is your beginning chain three and counts as your first double crochet. We make in this ring a total of 14 double crochets. So this is your first, so we need 13 more in this ring. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, insert in the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, and pull through two. So we now have four, we need a total of 14, so I need to make 10 more in this ring, and then I'll meet you back. I now made 14 double crochets in the magic ring, including the chain three from the beginning, and then I can close my ring by pulling the tail. So this is your round or your row one. Let's continue to row two. For row two, we chain three. One, two, three. Then turn your work. And this counts as your first double crochet. So we skip this first double crochet from the previous row. And we make a front post double crochet around this next double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook from front to back between the first and the second, and from back to front between the second and the third double crochet. So you have your hook behind the post of your double crochet. So normally you would insert in the V on top. In this case, we go around the post. So from front to back and back to front. So your hook is behind the second double crochet. Then yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You now made your first front post double crochet. In between the second and the third, in the hole between the second and the third, so not in the stitches, but between the second and the third, we insert our hook and make a double crochet. And then we make a front post double crochet around the third double crochet from the previous row. So yarn over, insert your hook from front to back between the second and the third, and from back to front between the third and the fourth. So your hook is behind the post of your third double crochet from the previous row. And then just make a 
double crochet. Finish your double crochet. Then the fourth double crochet gets a front post double crochet as well. So between the third and the, and the fourth, from front to back, and from back to front between the fourth and the fifth. So your hook is behind the fourth double crochet post. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and finish like a normal double crochet. In between the fourth and the fifth, we place a double crochet. So not in the stitches, but between the fourth and the fifth double crochet post. And make a double crochet. Around the fifth, we make a front post double crochet again. So front to back, back to front. So your hook is behind the post of the fifth double crochet and finish like a normal double crochet. We now made two sets of front post double crochet, double crochet in between, front post double crochet, then front post double crochet, double crochet in between, front post double crochet. We repeat this four more times. So front post double crochet around the next, double crochet, double crochet between the double crochets. Then a front post double crochet around the next double crochet. And then we have another set. Let's do that again. A front post double crochet around the next double crochet, a double crochet in between this one and the next, and then a front post double crochet around the next double crochet, a front post double crochet around the next one in between, and a front post in the next double crochet. We now have one, two, three, four, five sets. We need one more. So yarn over, a front post double crochet around the next double crochet, a double crochet in between, and a front post double crochet around the next. We now have one stitch left. This is your beginning chain three from the previous row. And we make a double crochet, just a normal double crochet in the third chain. So one, two, three, in the third chain, we make a normal double crochet. Yes, and there we go, to finish your row. So this is your row two done. For row three, we chain three, one, two, three, and turn our work. And then we skip this first, because this counts as your first double crochet, so we skip the first stitch. And now we are at the back of our work. And on this side, we made front post double crochets, and in this side, so on the side with the ridges we make back post double crochets so yarn over and this was a front post double crochet in the previous row so in this case it becomes a back post double crochet so to do that you insert your hook from back to front between the first and the second and from front to back so your hook is in front of your double crochet. Then yarn over, pull up a loop, and finish like a normal double crochet. The next stitch. This was your double crochet in between the stitches. And now this double crochet gets two double crochets. So we increase by one, and this one gets another double crochet. So the double crochet in between the front post double crochets from the previous round, 
from the previous row gets two double crochet in the stitch. Then yarn over, you make a back post double crochet again. So from back to front, front to back. So your hook is in front of your double crochet, pull up a loop and finish like a normal double crochet. So this is your new set, a back post double crochet, two double crochet, next stitch and a back post double crochet. So we repeat this all the way to the end. So a back post, from back to front, front to back, so your hook is in front of your post and finish your back post single crochet, a uh, double crochet. The next is a normal double crochet, so this one gets two double crochet in this same stitch. The next gets a back post. So yarn over from back to front, front to back around the post. So the post of the double crochet is behind your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop and finish your single crochet or your double crochet. So we made one set, two sets, and now we continue until we have six sets and then a double crochet in our last stitch. So yarn over, back to front, front to back, and make a back post double crochet. Your double crochet gets two double crochet, one and two in the same stitch and then a back post again around the next. So repeat this until you have one stitch left and then I'll meet you back. So back post, two double crochets in, this, in the double crochet and a back post, a back post, two double crochet in the double crochet and a back post. Repeat until you are at the last stitch and then I'll meet you back. I just made my last back post double crochet and now I am at the chain three from the previous row and I make a double crochet in the third chain to finish my row. So this is your row three done. For row four we chain three, we always start our rows with a chain three, then turn your work. And now we see a front post double crochets here, they lie on top of your work, and then two double crochet in between, and then the front post double crochet again. So we make a front post double crochet in this first, around this first double crochet, and then in between the front post and the first double crochet, we make a double crochet. In between the two double crochet, we make a double crochet. And in between the last double crochet and the front post double crochet, we make a double crochet. So we make, we first made one double crochet in between the front post double crochets. Then we made two stitches in between the um, two front post double crochet, back post double crochet, if you work from the other side. And now we make three. So not in the stitches, but between the double crochets. And then a front post double crochet again to finish your set. And then we have a new set and we do the same and so six times always six times and then end with a double crochet so we start with the chain three always and we end with a double crochet always so in the first stitch we skip because this is your first double crochet and then we make a front post double crochet because this is our front so your front we make a front post your back is with the ridges 
then you make the back post single crochet so that's a way to remember and then between the front post double crochet and the first double crochet we make a double crochet in between and then in between the first and the second double crochet we make a double crochet and in between the second double crochet and the front post double crochet we make a double crochet so we increase by one in every row and then front post double crochet to finish your first set then the next a front post double crochet in between the front post and the first double crochet a double crochet in between the first and the second double crochet a double crochet and in between the second double crochet and the front post double crochet another double crochet and then a front post double crochet so we now have two sets done we repeat this four times until we are at the last stitch so a front post double crochet three double crochets in between the spaces and then a front post double crochet front post double crochet three double crochet front post double crochet so all the way to the end and i'll meet you back when i'm at the last stitch i'm at my last stitch i just made my last front post a double crochet and now i make one two three a double crochet in the third chain in the last stitch to finish my row so here we have our row done so to continue we always start oops I'm my work gets too big always start with a chain three and always end with a double crochet in the last in the third chain from the previous row now we just continue working it is a very easy pattern um, we made first one double crochet in between the front post double crochets then two, then two now three and the next row we make four and then five and then six and then seven and then continue just as many rows as you like to get the desired length of your of your shawl okay we do one more row together and then i am sure you can do this on your own one two three turn your work now we have the back facing us so we make back post double crochet so yarn over from front back to front front to back so your double crochet is behind your hook yarn over and finish your back post double crochet we now have three normal double crochets so in the spaces between the back post double crochets and the double crochets we make one double crochet so one two three four in this case and in the next row it will be five then six and seven and eight and nine and so on so make four double crochet in the next four spaces between the double crochets not in the stitches and then we are at the back post double crochet again so yarn over back to front front to back with your double crochet behind your hook and finish your double crochet this is your first set then your next a back post double crochet four double crochets in between the spaces or in the spaces in between the double crochet one more 
and then a back post double crochet again so so continue this we now have two sets we need four more and then a double crochet in the third chain from the beginning chain three from the previous row then in the next row we have five stitches in between five double crochet in between the front post double crochets the next six then seven and so on um, keep working until your work is big enough and I keep working on mine I'll meet you back when mine is big enough and then I'll show you how to finish it off so keep working and I'll meet you back when mine is the right size I'm at my last row so finish the last double crochets the last front post double crochet and the double crochet in the third chain from the beginning chain three and then your shawl is done you can cut your yarn bind off and weave in you can also um, make a border around your shawl but i like it just the way it is so i bind off and weave in my end here and i'll show you the end result okay here you see the end result it's 50 inches across and from bottom to top 23 inches if you like this tutorial please give me a thumbs up oops <laughs> my little puppy likes it too give me a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed to my channel yet and you and you want to then click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so see you next time bye